Good morning, everybody. You're very welcome to our Thursday Reflection with the prophet Hosea. Today we are in Hosea chapter 1, verses 4 to 11. Some interesting verses as the Lord names each of Gomer and Hosea's three children and then speaks a little about the restoration of Israel in verses 10 to 11. So if you don't have your Bible, go and get it as we prepare to read these verses. Starting in verse 4. And the Lord said to him, Name him Jezreel. For in a little while I will punish the house of Jehu for the blood of Jezreel. And I will put an end to the kingdom of the house of Israel. On that day I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. She conceived again and bore a daughter. Then the Lord said to him, Name her Lo Ruhama, for I will no longer have pity on the house of Israel or forgive them, but I will have pity on the house of Judah, and I will save them by the Lord their God. I will not save them by bow or by sword or by war or by horses or by horsemen. When she had weaned Lo Ruhama, um, she conceived and bore a son. And the Lord said, Name him Lo Amai. For you are not my people, and I am not your God. Yet the number of the people of Israel shall be like the sand of the sea, which can be neither measured nor numbered. And in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people, it shall be said to them, Children of the living God. The people of Judah and the people of Israel shall be gathered together and they shall appoint for themselves one head and they shall take possession of the land. Great shall be the day of Jezreel. Let's say a word of prayer as we look at these verses. And Father, we thank you for your word. We pray you would speak to us, uh, your children here. Amen. These are interesting verses, mainly because um, it starts off with the naming of these three children and each, are, each name is significant in that they relate something or they're telling something to the people of, of Israel. Israel. Um, it talks about what they had done or what uh, God had done or what they were doing, God was going to do um, and, and so on. We have Jezreel, Lo Ruhama and Lo Amman. I had to write down the pronunciation of each of those names before I read um, the passage because they are quite difficult. Uh, they're difficult to understand um, and understandably they're not particularly popular baby names at the moment. Um, but these three names, as I said before, remind us of the unfaithfulness, the selfishness, the inward lookingness and the folly of and sometimes we, um, as children of God, God adopted into his family um, through Jesus Christ, are guilty of these things. Of selfishness, of unfaithfulness, of inward lickingness, of um, acting in silly and foolish ways. And at times, um, if we were really honest, we would admit that there were times where we all did those kinds of things, where we behaved in a way... Um, that was contrary, that was the opposite to the identity that we have been given in Jesus Christ. Um, opposite to our calling as children of God. We know we fall short as the nation of Israel we have fallen short. Um, and the nation of Israel here is, um, as God is saying to them through the prophet Hosea, and they're undeserving, their, their sin is great and they're undeserving of that name the people or the family of God because of their actions however um, however there is a, an important little word um, in the middle of this, this passage that we just read it's three letters I wonder if you can find it so if you can uh, tell me what it is I'm going to say it's a little word um, yet yet Despite all of this, yet God is still merciful. Mercy is remembered in the midst of wrath. The 
rejection is not total, the rejection is not final. Israel will prosper. Israel will become that nation that is more than the number of grains of sand on the shore. And in the same place where they heard those words, you are not my people. Well, they will be in that same place again and they will be called children of God. Hear that um, word of affirmation from God. You are my children, you are my family. And what achieves this? And um, Well, it's certainly not the actions of the people. But it is the wholehearted, loving and total grace Father God that achieves it. Um, we too experience that same grace in the Son, Jesus Christ, don't we? It is his grace, it is by his grace, this reconciliation offered in Jesus Christ that has turned us from being not my people to children of the living God, family of the living God. Race, that we are restored and um, that we are adopted into his family. It is his undeserved grace and mercy towards us um, that achieves this. Um, and we, we have to be thankful for that um, in, in his name and through Jesus Christ. I'd like us to spend just some time this morning, wherever you are, um, to remember the forgiveness that we have received um, in Jesus Christ and maybe perhaps ask for forgiveness this morning and we want to take time I ask you to take time to thank God that in Christ Jesus in his son we have been made a new creation um, and ask ask the Lord for the strength today ask the Lord for the strength to live that today and every day and thank him for calling us by his name through Jesus Christ into the family of God. Let's say a word of prayer. Father, we thank you that we have been adopted into your family, that we are children of the living God. We thank you for your wholehearted, loving and total grace given to us, shown to us in the life of death and resurrection of your living son our saviour jesus christ so be upon us as we go into this day in your name and by your holy holy spirit we pray amen amen thanks for joining us folks see you again on tuesday